In this demonstration, you will learn how to link and compare multiple datasets in ANSYS Insight. Specifically, I'll be using a fluent transient case that analyzes the fluid flow in a duct with a flap. I'd like to compare these results with the same dataset but at a later time. To analyze another case, I'll add a new case, select the option to keep the currently loaded data, select Link Operations for All Cases, hit OK, and locate my second case. Note that linking operations assumes that all variables share the same name and that all boundary parts are in the same order across the cases. The meshes also need to be the same in order to perform an accurate comparison. I've adjusted the simulation time using the master time settings to synchronize the time step size. Linking operations will synchronize the case views along with the creation and modification of non-boundary parts. Any features I create or modify for any case are automatically copied into all loaded cases. Case linking is useful when creating features and coloring parts to be used for comparisons as it eliminates unnecessary repetition when comparing many cases at once. I want to view the differences in the velocity distribution between the first case and the second case. Insight has a built-in function for computing the differences in a variable between two cases called case map diff. I'll go to the calculator and search for this function. Here, I'll select case 1 to map from. Choose the variable velocity magnitude. Select global search and choose the search option as nearest value. Since case linking is active, I just have to select the first case and the variable will be applied to all cases. This new variable will take the velocity distribution on the case 1 parts and subtract it from the velocity distribution on the parts it's applied to. I could recolor the parts in case 2 to reveal the differences. However, I'd like to maintain the individual case views and add a separate viewport to view the differences. First, I'll need to create a copy of the parts that currently display the velocity distribution. I can select the part to be copied, go to Edit, and under Part, I can select Copy. I'll select the copied part in Case 2 and assign this part to a new viewport. I can create titles for each viewport to keep track of what is being displayed. If I'm unsure which viewport is being referred to, I can go to the Viewports tab and locate the correct viewport. I've adjusted the orientation so that the viewport that will show the differences is on the left. Now I'll select the copied part and color it to the variable case map diff, which will represent the differences in the velocity distribution compared to case 1. Since I want to visualize the differences only in the assigned viewport on the left, I'll need to adjust where the copied part is visible. I'll select the copied part in case 1, choose Edit, select the Advanced option, expand the General tab, and click the green window which marks the original case 1 viewport. A black screen means the selected parts are not visible in that viewport. I'll repeat this for case 2. I finished creating a visual comparison of the differences in the velocity along the mid-plane of the duct. Now I'd like to see the exact differences in the velocity distribution at certain points. I've added in and placed a line at a specified height in the duct using the line tool. I can create a query to plot the exact differences in the data at specified sample points along the line tool. I'm going to move the plot into an empty viewport to improve clarity. The query will plot the data at the current time step and is automatically updated when the time step changes. From this query, I can right click on a data point and export the data as a variety of file types, including CSV and standard text files. For transient results, Insight will automatically export all available time steps. The query tool allows fast access to explicit numerical data, which is especially useful when evaluating differences between components. The case linking and comparison tools available in Insight streamline the post-processing stage by enhancing user functionality while minimizing the time it takes to create a scene. This concludes this demonstration, showing you how to effectively link and compare case results in ANSYS Insight.